VIP access. VIP access with Aniko and Africa Loud. This week, we are all about fantastic love. The person I'm about to interview is all about love, spreading good vibes, and he's the artist artist. Like when you say you have a favorite artist, he's a favorite artist of your favorite artist. And if you see him, just the way he's dressed, just the way he talks, the way he sings, everything drips artistry. I'm so happy to have you, my friend, Mandela, on oh, my podcast, VIP Access. Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Aniko. You always look fantabulous. You look amazing also today. Asante sana. I'm privileged. How are you doing, here. my friend? Hey, I'm doing like a king in a small paradise. I give thanks. Everything is okay, even when things don't look okay, you know. But I really am in a good place and I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that you're in a good place. Yes, sir. So I just want to paint a picture for those who are listening or watching who Mandela is and how I know Mandela. I've been following Mandela for a very long time, more than 10 years, right from my days working at KBC, hosting Grapevine TV show, mm -hmm. you know, going out for festivals, concerts. <clears throat> seeing this amazing performer alongside his band and group members of Sarabi. So a lot of you might have heard of the band Sarabi from Kenya, and Mandela is one of the um, lead singers, the main songwriter of the group, lead performer, lead everything. Mandela is a superstar. We cannot downplay that. Hey. And I'm tired of downplaying you or downplaying myself or any other person who deserves the flowers. So this podcast is all about you. I want to celebrate you. I want people to understand how talented you are, how big energy you carry, you carry with you, <clears throat> and just how great music you produce and write. And I want us to go into the basics of how you create the content you create, you know, how you write the music. So that's how I know Mandela. And it's such an honor for me to have you, you know, on my podcast this week. Mandela has um, an album of his own, which is called Ona Sasa. Mm. Amazing. Like if you hear the yes, songs. Ay, 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 yes. Thank you. Wapi. Where do we start, Mandela? Unajue safari me kwa ndefu. Wewe uko mmoja wa wale watu tulianza naye safari yangu ya album ya kwenda solo artist. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Mandela Ambassador Mandela is a brand. I'm an agent of change, a humanitarian. And uh yeah, a father brother and i just love people you know and and music to express with how i live my life so that leaves us all storytellers yes i mm -hmm. you give me those vibes that come around you a musician ungekuwa yani a pastor of sorts yani watu ungekuwa anakufuata tu have you heard that before yes that's very um, that's very true there's something that i have in my my in myself it's to do with the vibration i cannot help it but to to express it out there i don't like to be around people and i don't say hi maybe i go in a lift you know we are sharing that lift I don't know that person, but something can happen while we're in there. Lift can in a kwama. And then that's when you start to say, oh, shikes. Yo, 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 yo. Do you have a number of someone? No, no, no. We should say hi when we first meet. Hi. Hi. Nice. That's enough. The rest can come later. You sit in a matatu, uh, uh, shoulder to shoulder, or in an aeroplane with someone. And you're quiet all the way until there is an accident. Then you start saying, oh, there's an accident. Now, I wonder what is an accident. There is no accident. We, the accident is when we don't actually access that social path that we're supposed to have. So that spirit leaves me at a place where people just follow that vibe and it blesses people. Imagine you change people's, I think musicians and artists and, are, are on earth to make people happy, to, to brighten people's days, to remind people that it is okay to be here it's a universe, and it's a university, and, and, and it's a giver. It's a learning place. It's a place of abundance. So why are we only looking at one side of sadness? So I believe my, if I was not to be a musician, 
I definitely could have been a, a pastor, but not like this now. You know, these pastors are not this time. The most <laughs> not these is. type of pastors. <laughs> no. The right kind of pastors. Well, we are already the right kind of pastors. It's just we could not do the business because uh, the most high one does not want us to be prophets of profit. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we're not doing that. Oh, we're not doing that. Oh, good. <clears throat> so I want to say something. Mm -hmm. While you're talking, I'm hearing songs that you're writing. Oh, yeah. And when you talked about being in the lift and not talking to strangers, and then something happens in the lift and you're like, oh, hi, can, can, can you have, do you have a phone? Does your phone have network? Yes. Can I call somebody? Mm -hmm. It took me back to your album on Asasa to the song Accident. Right. The song says, mm. what is an accident? Mm. You know? Right. You come out as a driver. You start to drive recklessly. Mm -hmm. Then you kill people. And then you come and say, I had an accident. Was it an accident? Yo. And it's really nice that you bring that up. That this song actually was inspired by, there was a time there was an accident on Nairobi Nakuru Highway or, or Road. And there was a, a bump at a wrong place. Mm. And there was traffic. Now, this, ma, uh, m, m, this guy who was driving and overtaking these, the, these uh, cars on uh, traffic, mm -hmm. he did not see the bump. So he went over the bump, mm -hmm. and that's what started the fire. Mm. The, 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 the lorry, uh, the tank exploded mm. of petrol because... There was a wrong bump. Someone put a wrong a bump at the wrong place, mm. you know. But also the driver, he was overtaking at the wrong time. He was he was not patient enough. Mm. So he's burning other people and killing other people. So I was looking. Okay, who caused the accident in this case? Was it the person who put the bump at the wrong place? Or was it this impatient driver? So whose fault was it? So what is an accident? Some maybe it was not an accident. Maybe it is supposed to be. I don't know what an accident is. I really don't know. You, you see this person, a border border person, he likes to be on a rush, in a rush always. It's like border border once you're on, I could break it. Now, as in Smama, too, and go get traffic. No, no. Now, when you know, I'm not a reflector. The man on a skier, Hajali, Hainaga, reflector. Ajali, Hainaga, defender. Any defender? Defender. Yeah. Ajali, it could defend that he, it could shield up or no. Maybe she'll be able to come out on insurance. Yeah, I would just kill him when you're. Yeah, you're right. Thanks a lot for bringing that up. Remind yeah, me. so, you know, again, your music, you know, is so conscious. If we imagine I'm going back to that song and hearing you and thinking, mm. like your music is inspiring me to be more conscious. Right. You know? when I'm in a space, to ask myself, can I behave better? Can I do better? Can I help somebody? Exactly. You know, can I offer my services? Right, Aniko. And, you know, not just about you offering, but also you need protection. For example, you come to a room like this, the only thing people always ask is two things. You got a Wi-Fi password or a <laughs> toilet, right? <laughs> uh, where are the washrooms? Or oh, whoever Wi-Fi uh, password. But I learned a lot from uh, the current, uh, the past uh, accidents, like terrorism that happened. You have to access a building, get to know, okay, what floor am I in? Can I jump off the window? What's the next floor? Hmm. Is there a balcony? Okay, in the toilet, in, in case something happens, I'm in the toilet. Is there a place my head can fit in so I can get out? Hmm. See, these places... We just live these days in, in like you're in a matatu, for example, and you're not even complaining. Mm. And 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 there's and then you say there will be an accident, and then you blame it on the government. You you should speak and see where you're going. You put yourself in situations. You nobody really wants to hurt you. You harm yourself. You want to go cheap. And you get expensive. Yes, but that's that's all about that song, Accident, that really inspired. <laughs> I a... feel like me and you both have digressed. To I mean, know, that like we've gone... To go tune down your vibes, plan your half we're running. But if I poor... I love the vibe. So, Mandela, since, mm. you know, breaking off from Sarabi mm. to coming to yourself, you know, starting your solo career, 
you know, releasing this project on Asasa, which we worked on together. How has it been so far? I feel like when people exist in groups, they get so comfortable, you know, to be in groups, for someone else to, to take their fall, or sometimes you take the fall of others. But when you're alone, when when you're mbele, na nyuma, na katikati, na kila kitu. So mm. how has it been navigating the industry as a solo artist? As a solo artist, navigating the industry needs patience and needs a discipline. It needs humbleness. It's like you're starting afresh. It doesn't matter if you used to sing with Michael Jackson or you used to be Jackson 5 and you're now Michael Jackson. Nobody knows Michael Jackson. We used to know the Jackson 5s. Now you have to work hard to be better, a bigger name than Jackson 5, right? And, and, and the Jackson 5 is just a mothership, okay? That give birth to all of you, mm. the Jacksons. And it's upon every kid and every child in this house to expand. You one day have to all get out of your houses and comfort zone and go marry, go marry, and always bring something back. So for me, it has been a journey of learning. And uh, from the scratch, I had to start from the scratch. I had to forget about many things I was, I was used to. I, I had to forget about how I used to write music, how I used to perceive myself. I had to shave my hair twice, you know, to, to start again new dreadlocks. I had to kill Mandela to born Ambassador Mandela. So in short, I went through frustrations, depression. You know, it's not easy to always say goodbye or to start a change, but change is vital, you know. So when I, when I left the band, it was not easy. Everybody had a story to tell. My name was out here, you know, people always asking, why did you break the band? I, 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 I have to say, yes, I broke the band because I left, I, I walked away. I walked away from troubles of my life, searching for the light to make things better for others. But nobody wants to say bye. Everybody likes to be in a comfort zone. I wish everybody could have gone solo in that band. We could have been one of the richest families ever. Just imagine, he has his own fans of 5,000. I have my own fans of 5,000. I got artists that I'm connected with. And when we call these artists to come to our show, they come with their own fans and we have an expansion. So it has been a journey of maturity also and forgiveness, a lot of it. And with pure love, with no other intention, no hidden agenda. Now, I just wanna do business. I want to focus on my, 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 my art and my brand, which works for me. I have a team, I have learned how to work with people, how to be disciplined, how to listen to people, and how to let people listen to me, what I want. And that's the best place to be, Sister Aniko. The best place to be when you can run your own business. I was gonna say, it's the best place to be when you have control of your, <clears throat> of your own business, your own brand, you know, your day, your tours. Right. The money you receive. Right. Hey, talking about money, you know? That's where the problem is. People want money, but people don't want to spend with many. Well, you have to work with many if you want money. You can be one person and everything is stored in you, but you need to, to distribute all this knowledge to someone who will do your job perfectly. I've learned through other mainstream artists, you know, how they did it. I, I would use uh, an obvious example, like my brother, Sauti Sol, how they did it, you know. They are amazing, how they did it. You, you need many people behind you. The rest is just about how you want to do things, you know. So yeah, I, I'm hacking something here. I can see the shell of the egg is cracking. Something new is coming. I'm not in a hurry to to give anything yet. I'm just observing also the industry, how it is moving, where we're we going, what the people are expecting. I can feel there's a side and a part of the industry that is actually 
dying and paving way for, for a, a new, new change. Era. Yeah, new era. And I love <clears throat> that. I just love it. And so I, I am taking a step back to start this journey with the new generation, like the Generation Z, because I feel like they don't, they are the ones I'm targeting. I'm here for them. And yet they don't know me, right? They, they, they want to know me and they want to find me. They really need to listen to what I have to tell them. My music is for them. But you know Generation Z, they move so fast. So fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. So I have, I have come back into their zone to learn, not to move them, mm -hmm. no, to move with them. You know, I, like I, got, that. I will say, for example, um, and Generation Z is very open. You know, I, I will sing songs like, Nguvu ya nap ni noma, unaweza anguki ya mawangukiwe. Nguvu ya nap ni noma, oh, nguvu ya nap ni noma, unakuja na masidis, unatoka na piki piki. Tulikuona na mapesa, mara kidogo weo unateseka. Naomba mbaka fea. Nguvu ya nyapu ni noma, kwani unajuliza wewe ulitoka wapi? Uliza mama yako, uliza baba yako. I mean nguvu ya nyapu ni noma, na kitu kama hiyo, for example, where... In many years, to, in the past, you could have been uh, in the one normal. I always in by young or like what I tell you. But each generation, they understand. They're a deep generation, open generation. And I'm actually working on that single. And I'm going to release it soon, like tomorrow, if I, I love can. It. Yeah. It's just in Guvia So and, and that comes from a, a generation that does not want you to chew for them. They want to explore and 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 um want to discover by themselves. Mm. I am privileged to be living in this era, to be honest. I am privileged to, to see this time, living in an interesting time. And I am part of it, Aniko. Just imagine, I'm part of I'm part of this history. Mm. I, I made it. I, I made it here. Yeah, you made it here. And I'm so proud of you. And Thank you know. You. You're giving me that vibe already. Like, I love you as a performer even more than the, the artists who I go to listen to their music. I love to experience you. I love to see you do your set. You know, one time we had a concert. We were coming to Mandela's concert. And remember, the police came and shut down your concert. Wolan, was that at the Alliance Fonse? No. I mean, they shut down so many of your concerts until you, you lose track. Yeah. <laughs> that was in Westlands. That was in West when yeah. they came and they carried our sound they system. They carried the sound system, everything. And it was such an amazing concert you had planned. You know, we bought so tickets and came with so many friends to see the amazing Mandela. And people were crying. <laughs> I said, don't worry. Wait till you see what this guy is going to do. And some people left. I said, don't leave. Mandela will definitely do something. I don't know what, but he'll do something. Wow. And you took your guitar with no speaker you know, and played us amazing. The best concert ever. Acoustic. Yes, sir. In that CC2, corridor. Well, it was uh, amazing. And that's what I love about you because you uh, are defiant. You know, you strive to exist in all difficulty. Um, and even in an industry which is sometimes very draining, mm. you come out there and give off really great energy, give the best performance, even though you might not have had the best day. Mm. So... Tell me about your relationship with performance, you know, being on stage. Mm. How do you feel when you're up there? Yo, Aniko, performance is something that comes when I'm up there or just moments before I go on stage. It, it, it's a, I have to let go of myself. I have to be that person. My relationship with performance is me and the most high one channeling. It's never me. It's never me. I, you know, like Beyonce, she says there's something inside her. Yes, but now me, it's a light worker. It hits me at a, a pace I cannot control it. And I think performance is expressing my pain, my anger, my happiness. Mziki ni kilio, mziki ni fundisho, mziki ndo even expression, like vako yako vlo how I express my look when I sing, you know? You don't dress up so nice and you don't have no energy. You don't dress up so good and you don't know how to walk. You walk like you dress so that people can address you like you're dressed. 
my mom is going to prove this because my mom always says fashion is you the mm. dress is you mm. it's not the person it's not anyone wearing that dress my mom Yo. always says you Kabisa. could have one dress and put it in different people mm-hmm. and it looks very different sasa hapo ndo palinasema who makes your clothes don't make you look good you make the clothes look good you're selling that fashion tonight you're selling it today you're selling everything you make it look good and so we make this place look good and we make our we making this clothes look good they don't make us look good we are expressing <laughs> Thank oh my you. god we are feeling ourselves on this podcast today mm-hmm. why not why not we're tying a knot a new one yani anyiko this is a great time to be alive and to do this kind of things you know so let us express mm-hmm. performance is daily routine you have to be confident performance is in every little thing you do you cannot dress up and you don't walk up with your head up You cannot you cannot be broke and yet you 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 are walking like a broke person and you want money. You have to walk like someone who is seeing money. Even if you're broke, don't be broken. You got me? You <laughs> you walk you. like you got the money like you. You're broke so that you can think about that money. You know broke so you can die. You're sick so you can heal. Uh, you 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 you're going to heal only if you believe you're going to heal. Hata umeze dawa ya pesa ngapi hautapona. Eh hapo ndo pale daktari anakuambia ugonjwa wa tuoni ndani ya mwili wako tuoni ugonjwa unaenda kusema umerogwa. So it starts with self love. You know you love yourself. And and I always talk about love. I don't mean like just love. I mean love yourself. No one is going to love you anyko if you don't love yourself. Not even your husband, not even your kid will love you if you don't love yourself. Mm. Mama, you don't take shower mama. Your mama makwapa is smelling mama. Your mouth didn't brush mama. Mama is always going to look good when mama is loving herself. You know, or, or daddy. Yo, people love me because I love myself. Not because I'm trying to be nikwembelea uh, watu and showing people, you know, eh, no no no. If you don't love me, you don't love me. And don't love me if you don't love yourself by the way. You love yourself first before you love me. <laughs> I just love you because of how you carry yourself. Ah yeah yeah, Nico, you, you love yourself, you. <laughs> oh, and that's why I love you too. You know? You're a lovely person. You make everything look good. Even this scene, what a scenario. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> This podcast just keeps getting liter. <laughs> Yani this, lit, this is the this is the killer monkey cook west podcast ever <laughs> if you don't know the meaning of that you just check out again on 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 oh my youtube God, you Mandela, know i love you so much like i see this is why i created this podcast because i have all these amazing artist friends and mm. friends but most of my friends are actually artists who we have these conversations with at home or whatever mm. and then i'm just like i wish someone else would be listening to this beautiful mind right sasa amekuja hapa mnamsikia you better know mandela you better go out there and stream his music you better listen to the consciousness of his lyrics you know you better see him perform and you will know what you're talking about the energy will carry you above any utamka from your sleeping bed so for me i'm just so proud of you always you. been and i have so much respect for you mm. and so much everything for you like i put my money on you you know yes. mandela to the world yani kama mtu ana watch oh unaona anyiko is saying the truth these are the real people i mean there's many more like you all there but she's not lying mandela asante sana so before we wrap up mm. we're talking about authenticity we're talking about loving yourself we're talking about being comfortable in who you are you know in what you feel right what kind of advice would you give to those who are watching especially artists who don't know how to express themselves or are not sure if how they're expressing themselves is how people will love you know what kind of tips do you want to give to an an apologetic artist coming out in the industry right now one do not impress do not do things to impress people do things to express yourself whether you're a mzungu who is in Kenya doing music and you think people see you as a mzungu trying to you do your thing they will be proud of that mzungu as a kenyan whether you are a, you are a, you are a, you are, a, you are, a, <clears throat> yeah, you are a, what do you say you feel like you're in the system of lgbtq and you you're like this is a sensitive thing express yourself it's okay 
And that's the love I'm talking about. If you don't love yourself, you will not be able to express what you believe in. You know what I mean? We're living in a very interesting time. If you know, you know you have something, charity begins at home. And the first home is your body. How do you feel? Express it. And if at home you got support, good. If you don't have support at home, even better. Come out to the world. Let the world take you home. There is nothing wrong being an artist. Everything is right. Even when you sing the trashiest lyrics in the world, that is called art. It, there's nothing like, I know, I know they call me conscious artist, but being conscious is actually understanding people's consciousness. Someone is singing, Kwamfano, uh, and hey, mutoto umejazarasa kama daipa. I mean, you're about, you're about the art. I mean, I am a conscious person singing those songs, and they say, will, that, will you say that is unconscious? You know, it's, it's just... You the, draw the picture in your head already. Yeah. Allah. So that's what I'll say. Do your thing. Be on top of the game. I gave this uh, uh, advice to some of my students when I was teaching artists. One of them is Yani Uwapombe. I told him, yo, don't come to school paying to go to, to music school. You got music in your blood. Go in the studio, do the thing. You have someone who take, can take pictures. Yes, my brother can take pictures. Good. My brother can also make clothes for me. Good. Look good, take pictures, do music. What did he do? He did that. Just He's even that. bigger than his own teacher. Yeah, Yanni's name is bigger than my name. If you say Yanni, it's not Uyo, it's not Uyo. But I mean, I'm going to go to Kujui. Kwenda Uko. I'm proud. I'm a very proud person. So yeah, do your thing. Don't wait. There's never the right time. And there's always right time, even when you're 90 years old. Let's do this. Kill a monkey. Thank you, Mandela. I give thanks. Thank you so much for coming to VAP Access. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always giving me different energy, different vibes, different sides of you. I never know what Mandela is going to say. And that's what I love about you. <laughs> you're so, you're always a beautiful surprise. Thank you. kila siku, utakona ni educate. Every day you'll do a freestyle. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love you too, Aniko. I don't know. Can you give me a tip? Maybe I should give you guys more like reels on my social media, like small shows, like small yes, guitars. You guys we, will love we it. We love that. Please. Okay. I'll come up with freestyle. Give us uh, more freestyle of that. Mondays. Yeah, yeah. Do so. Awesome. Yeah. We didn't even talk about your life between Kenya and Tanzania. Huh. Don't worry. Should we save that for the next podcast? Yeah. Actually, now I'm based now in Kenya again. I'm back home. To work. You're not going back to Tanzania. Who said I'm not going back to Tanzania? I'm always everywhere. I'm I'm gonna go to to for a tour maybe for two months. Where am I? I'm a bird. Mm. I'm in Tanzania there because you know why. Yes. Oh, but Tanzania is a very beautiful country. They to don't explore, know why. You know? Why why are you in Tanzania? Tell them. Yeah, Tanzania is a beautiful country to explore and to live in. I think all Kenyans should actually explore this country. <laughs> Guys, it's on that note we're That's ending this true. podcast. That's true. Yo, Tanzania, you, 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 tonana. I need to go to Nenda Kongyo for India, but that. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you it. so That's much it. for listening to VIP Access. I'll be back next week with yet another big energy and personality like Mandela. Yay. Big up, Mandela. Big up, more life. VIP Access. VIP Access with Aniko on Africa Loud.